I'm Tony Van Veen, CEO of Discmakers. Frequently, when I talk to artists about how important selling CDs is for today's artists, I get the following comeback. My fans don't own CD players. Or cars and computers don't come with CD drives anymore. What these artists think they're telling me is, Tony, I'm not going to make CDs because my fans don't have a way to play them. And so they won't buy them from me and I don't want to lose my precious money making CDs no one will buy. What they don't realize they're actually trying to ask me is, Tony, please tell me how I can make money from CDs even though not everyone has a CD player. So today I'm going to tell you exactly why people will buy your CD even though they don't have a CD player. But first, I'm going to be real with you. We all know that new cars and computers don't come with CD drives any longer. We also know that many fans don't have a CD player. But there is still a large installed base of CD players out there. That said, many fans, particularly younger ones, won't have a CD player. So it is obvious that you won't be able to sell a CD to every one of your fans. But be honest here, were you ever able to sell a CD to every fan you had? Of course not. So don't focus on those fans who don't have a CD player. Think about those who do. CDs are all about having something cool for fans that drives incremental revenue for you. The amazing thing is that CDs are so affordable that if you only sell between 10 and 20% of the discs you ordered from disc makers, you'll make back your whole cost of manufacturing. So typically, if you order 100 discs, you only need to sell between 10 and 20 units to cover your manufacturing costs. That should be pretty doable, no? So since I'm being real, let me tell you another real thing. No music fan today needs your CD to listen to your music. They can already do that for free on YouTube or on any of a hundred streaming services. And yet, fans do buy CDs. How do I know? We at This Makers are manufacturing 16 million CDs this year for artists just like you. So why? Why will fans buy your CDs even if they don't have a CD player? Mostly, it's because they want to support you. If you perform live and give a great show, the people in attendance will recognize your talent, your passion, your greatness even. Fans know that artists aren't made of money, and some of them will want to support you financially. Ten bucks for a CD is good value for the fan. Buying the CD today is not really about the music for most fans, it's about the fandom. That CD becomes a token, a souvenir of sorts that they were at your show and that they met you at the merch table. And it becomes even more special if you autograph that CD and take a selfie with that fan. Of course, the CD also offers an attractive physical element to your fan with a great cover design and space for photos and lyrics, something that is sorely missing from today's streaming landscape. It lets the fan get to know you better. And again, it's another reason for the fan to hold on to your CD. One of the last concerts I was at, the artist announced that he was going to be at the merch booth after the set. And frankly, I hadn't expected that. I was pretty excited. I had no prior plans to buy a CD, but I ended up plunking down 20 bucks. I got the CD autographed, we took a selfie, super cool. I'm never getting rid of that CD. I mean, even when I move into a retirement home, I'm taking that CD with me. And you know the kicker? To this day, I haven't listened to the CD. I've listened to the artist on Spotify, in the car, when walking, working out. I just haven't gotten around to popping the disc in my player. And yet, the CD is precious to me. I once read a stat that half the vinyl records that are sold today in the US never even have the poly wrap taken off. Half! The fan just wants to have the vinyl as a token of their fandom. Now, you may think that's silly, or dumb even, but how you feel about that doesn't really matter. You, dear artist, are in a position to benefit from that phenomenon. Whether you make vinyl or CDs, it does not matter if a fan will ever play your disc or even if they own a player. They can listen to you on streaming. What matters is that some of them will buy your disc because it's got cool graphics, because it reminds them of the day they saw you in concert, and because they want to support you. 
So the million dollar question, or maybe since we're talking about CDs, the $10 question is how do you sell CDs to fans who don't own a CD player? And the answer is simple, ask. When you're up on stage, just ask for the sale. Tell your audience you have CDs at your merch table in the back and after your set, you'll be there autographing them. And tell them you'd love for them to own one of your CDs. That's it. Easy peasy, no high pressure. Just let the audience know what you want them to do. I guarantee some of them will do it. So that's it. It's a fact. People will buy your CD or your vinyl and some of them will never bother to listen to it. Good thing they're so affordable to make. So why not try it? What do you say?